hi guys and welcome back to the channel i'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today so today we are back at the channel with something uh, different and very exciting because i am going to show you guys around in my let's build oasis springs neighborhood so yes we are finished i uploaded the final speed build yesterday go, go click on the link here up if you want to check that one out so i finished the entire world and what i actually did is when i finished off that last lot is i uh, went through the entire world again and i tweaked some houses here and there so i added in some laundry in houses that i thought that needed it also fixed you know little mistakes and some of the landscaping i also tweaked from a few houses just a few <laughs> so this entire neighborhood is ready to go so if you want to download this by the way you can it is now uh up on my dropbox so i added in a link in the description of the video so down below this video there is a description box i have a link to my dropbox just go there download this save file put the save file in your saves don't um no yeah you know I, uh, bleep, mona <laughs> I'm so sorry guys i'm so excited i cannot talk no just yeah download it then from your downloads put it in your save file but be careful not to overwrite any of your files i've set the file name at 999 because i don't think anyone would have 999 saves but i'm not sure so do check that before placing it in your save file and of course i will try and link a tutorial on how to do all those steps in the description as well if i can find a tutorial uh, but if you have any troubles let me know and i will try and help you <laughs> with that save file placement anyways let's get started so the first thing that you guys can see of course is i redid every house <laughs> i think there are 21 lots in total uh, what i also did is i added in a few sims to the neighborhood as you can see so johnny sest is living right here he used to live here in this little trailer park but the trailer park is no more now the trailer park is a motel and i set the motel as a bar so uh yeah he doesn't live here i moved him to this tiny house that I built recently. I also moved all of the Calientes and I think the Roomies, if their name, yeah, I think that was the name of that little group. I moved them all into the uh, apartment. <laughs> so this is the, uh, how do you call it? The uh, cheap student apartment. I just found it very fitting to have them live there. And then here in the uh, retirement center or the old folks home, I have a couple living um, that I think Rodney Hall gave me permission to place in the game. So thank you so much. They are living in the old folks retirement home. Um, and then here I placed a family that I kind of created. I mean, I downloaded one sim from the gallery and then off of that sim, I made all the other sims. So yeah, that is one family. And then here I also added in a family that I had in my game for a very long time. Uh, same thing here as well, the Jennings family. That was a base game family that I created to showcase uh, one of my houses that I've built with the parenthood pack. I will link that video here up in the screen as well. Um, here I added in some doctors. <laughs> and then here we have another family. So this family I really did make from scratch. This is my family. It's my sim self and my husband with two cats. I did not create my children because I just couldn't make it work. So we don't have children right now, but that is fine. And we are living here in this house. So if you download this entire safe, you will get the Sims with it. So the Sims that are living here in the world, if you don't want them, just delete all of them and fill the houses with whatever you want to have in your game you know but this is just a nice starting point i mean for me i find this convenient when i download a world because i hate creating sims i i don't spend any time in creative sims so having you know some houses already filled with some nice looking 
people <laughs> is for me a very large plus point. Um, anyways, let's get started with the tour of the world. Uh, and let's start with this world here or this neighborhood first. So we're going to start with this neighborhood because that is the neighborhood that I've built first. Then we're going to move over to this little neighborhood and then this and then the cheapest one as last. And then the final piece, we're going to tour the uh, community lot strip. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, guys, we are now in the first neighborhood and this is the neighborhood where it all started out here. I just I created the first house. <laughs> so it's a tiny neighborhood of four residential lots. Um, this is the first house that I created. This is where my sim self and my husband is living at this point. Uh, and then when you look at here, we have some family home. Let me pause the game. <laughs> some family homes. And then at the very end of the street, there is this really large, gorgeous house uh, that I created, <laughs> uh, I think a year ago now. So, um, and this is actually my most viewed house on my channel, by the way. Um, so yeah, this one did really, really good. So I am going to show you guys a little bit of the interior of the house that I'm living at, you know, just as a reminder of how we all started. Um, so I like that all of the houses are surrounding this little square here in, you know, in the middle. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is the house that we started out with. So the landscaping, I did tweak a tiny bit. As you guys can see, I added in some plants from the um, Jungle Adventure game pack. Um, I don't know, we just needed a little bit more of a oomph in the front garden. And I thought, let's just, you know, Add in some more plants, some nice looking plants. So this is the way uh, how you walk into the house. Um, I like the little row of uh, windows that I made here. I totally forgot that I did that. So this is the house. See, this is where we enter. And this is the entryway uh, of the house. Here we have a bathroom right here. And then here we have a garage. So like I said, I did tweak and update some of the houses. And for this house, it felt like really fitting to have a laundry room inside of the garage. So, you know, I already got you covered. There is a laundry section right here. Um, and then here in this house, I really went with a red, white and gray kind of setup um loving the kitchen right here and i also added in some items for the cats because this family has pets so there is oop, there's a feeding bowl a water bowl and there is a cat scratching or a cat house that's it a cat house which also function as a scratching pole here we have stitch stitch is my oldest cat so i knew i needed to create him in the game this is Stitch. Stitch is a main Coon or like 80% main Coon and 20% something else. <laughs> um, and then here we have my Sim self sitting on the couch. I know the hair isn't that accurate, but that's the only hair in game that, you know, looks kind of like mine. I love the living room. Again, it looks so spacious. I love the white color combined with uh, all the red little... Uh, features and then this is the backyard so the backyard is also really spacious with a hot top a little seating area and even a bar and grill and a tiny seating area there around the corner so if you only want this house you can also download it from the gallery under my origin a love simply sim um, but this is included, of course, in the save file if you download the entire save. Uh, and this is the updated version. Uh, like I said, I did update this version. So up here we have a tiny hallway with some laundry baskets right there. There's a children's room right here where my husband is playing some blick block. <laughs> um, and the children's room gets their own little ensuite bathroom, keeping it in, you know, that colorful orange and red theme. 
or mostly orange but i really do like it so this this bedroom is set up for boys whoops and then here we have the master bedroom so this is the master bedroom um went with that red vibe that we have going um, downstairs but instead of doing like a harsh gray i decided to go more with some neutral beiges browns and such you know just to make it more calming in, in the bedroom and then here we also have a ensuite bathroom i love this bathroom i don't know why it's so very zen and the thing that i love most is when you are sitting here as sim <laughs> you can look inside of the house of your neighbors <laughs> i found that a really fun touch so yeah that is the house i also have another cat uh kitty 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 where are you oh where did kitty go I also have a. Uh, I also created Kitty. I don't know if you guys heard, but Kitty um, passed away a few weeks ago. Ah, oh, she was under the couch. Did you guys see that? Yeah. Anyways, uh, I also created Kitty for in my game, so you know that I immortalized her oops there she go <laughs> there she went <laughs> so that she is always with me uh, in this safe and i found it a really nice touch to have her here as well um so yeah kitty is in the game as well so this is the first neighborhood oh there she is <laughs> so cute um this is the first neighborhood of this safe file let's go to the world map again and then we're gonna choose the second neighborhood Okay guys, we are now in the second neighborhood um, that I created, or I think this is the second one. Um, so this neighborhood is really green. You can see we are still in the desert, but there is a lots of greenery, lots of green grass, which I think looks really nice. So what I love about this neighborhood is of course this very large um apartment complex that i created it looks so really fancy it's definitely for more of the you know maybe middle class or wealthier sims this apartment complex i love that every apartment is uh, made for a specific sim so this apartment right here let's see if we can go in oh yes we can so this apartment here is for a family it's really colorful um Let's see if we can look into the bedrooms. You know, just a smidge, just a sneak peek. So, you know, a very colorful kids' bedroom. Whoa, where did I go? Um, and then, you know, a very nice looking bedroom for mom and dad. And then if you go in the hallway, oops, that's not a hallway, that's a bathroom. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're probably getting sick. So this is a bathroom, a very tiny one um where's the hallway i'm lost <laughs> and then here we have a hallway going into all of the other apartments and then here oh i loved this apartment this is a old uh old people's apartment so maybe a couple that is growing old together live in this apartment Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Uh, I actually did not add any laundry, I think. No. Yes, I did. I, I, no, I did. I added in some laundry inside this apartment complex as well. So there is laundry right here. So yeah, there is a washing machine and a dryer in this apartment complex as well. So if you want to play with this, it's fully updated uh, with that pack. So there is laundry right there. Um, yeah, that is what I love about this neighborhood. This little, uh, or little, this very large apartment complex. Whoa, a tree, Mona. Uh, you can see this is my first time showing off a world. I, I will get better, I promise, with the next world that I finish. So when you go through the street here on the right side, we have a tiny family home. Uh, I think this is a two bed, uh, no, yeah, it's a two bed 
one bathroom or two bathroom experience. I am not sure anymore. Um, also really liked the design. It's a more luxurious design. Um, but it looks really lovely. I think this is on a 20 by 15. And then here we have my famous single mom's house. This house I created solely oops, for the parenthood pack that I really wanted to showcase. It's a very nice house. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys the inside. You can see it in the, oops, in the speed build video that I created, uh, but you can see it through the windows and it looks really interesting. Uh, and then here we have another family home. This one is a bit more spacious. Um, and I really love that it fits in with the style of this entire neighborhood. And then here, this is the largest home of the entire uh, neighborhood. Not the world, not the largest, but from this little neighborhood, this is the largest house. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, it has little balconies. It's, there's a swimming pool. There's even a spa in the basement. You can, you can see it right there. I am gonna show you guys a little bit of the inside of this house. Just as a sneak peek, I'm not gonna do every room, but what I love is there is a walkway, you know, going here into the backyard, but you can also enter, oh my gosh, <laughs> they left something. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the housewarming party came by. <laughs> they left something there. <laughs> or the welcome wagon, which is fine. Anyways, um, this is the entryway of the house. Here we have a garage. They have a cat, by the way. Here's the husband woodworking away. So yeah, this is the garage section. Um, this house also has a bathroom through there. Um, I am going to show you real quick, like real quick, you know, just a simple looking bathroom. Um, there is a basement, like I said, with a spa and a very spacious looking living room. So this living room is definitely set up for pets. Uh, pets came out when I started building this one. So there's a pet bed, some balls, you know, little items here and there. And then behind the chimney, we also have a play area for children and toddlers. Really convenient. And then going through there, we have a kitchen, which I also really enjoyed creating. Um... And then we have a few bedrooms upstairs as well. So I love this little landing. It looks really nice with, you know, the, the yellow sofas. And there are two teen girls bedrooms right here. So there is one teen girl here who loves purples, blacks, you know, and, you know, doing her makeup. <laughs> and then she also got a ensuite bathroom right here. So she also got a sauna. Yes, yeah, she's that spoiled. <laughs> and then through here, we have another teen girl's bedroom. And this more is, you know, a little bit more sophisticated, uh, you know, pastel pinks. And then uh, she wants to be a veterinarian, as you guys can see, <laughs> you know, some cat posters. And she also got an, her own little bathroom, you know, with makeup and such. So that is a really cute little bedroom. Um, so yeah, I showed you a little fraction of the house. I'm not gonna show everything, you know, that is up to you when you download it from the game. I did add in a laundry downstairs right here in the little corner. <laughs> Look at the dog, he's actually watching the laundry. What is he watching? It's not on. He's looking at the towel. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Anyway, so I did tweak and update this uh, house as well so that you would have laundry. And I also added in a glass roof there, which was a dance floor. Uh, yeah. So anyways, this is the second neighborhood. Take it in. <laughs> and let's jump right into the third one next. 
Okay guys, we are now in the third neighborhood and this is the most expensive neighborhood of the entire Oasis Springs world. Let me unpause the game so you can really see, you know, everything come to life. So this neighborhood has a 50 by 50 size lot right here. Uh, in this house, uh, the land crabs live at this point. So I did not move them out. I just renovated their house, added in some more bedrooms. <clears throat> oh my, sorry, I was burping. <laughs> um, and I really enjoyed building this house. This was one, one of my favorites as well, especially the backyard is gorgeous. We have these very large swimming pool. Um, and then this is not a swimming pool. This is actually a fountain. Yeah, I think that is a fountain. Yeah, and this is a swimming pool. Um, I think this house is like six bedrooms. Uh, I think there's also a butler's bedroom, although I'm not sure. And then downstairs, there's even a gym with a uh, mountain climbing uh, wall because I actually built this when I think the fitness pack came out. <laughs> yeah, I was like really, really into the fitness pack at this point. So yeah, that is when I built that. And then across the street, we have the private practice house. So this is the Oasis Springs private practice. And because this is a private practice, I found it just really funny to add in two doctors into this house. So this house is already occupied. And I actually moved in two of my favorite doctors of my favorite uh you know, medical series, Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> and I actually have uh, Dr. Shepard right here living in this house. I did get him from the gallery, by the way. I did not create him, but I found him so fun. So I added in Dr. Shepard right here. He is playing the piano. Um, here we have a tiny play area. Also, you know, a dining room and then a very large and spacious kitchen. I love the kitchen layout. I love that there is like a sunken area where you have the, uh, the breakfast nook. Looks really nice. And then down here, we actually have the private practice. So down here, there is a look in into the swimming pool. There's also a teen boys bedroom right here with an ensuite bathroom. Um, there is a bathroom for your patients. Um, here, this was actually really fun. Uh, I made a fake laundry room. So I created this before the laundry day stuff pack came out. <laughs> and then afterwards, when I was editing the world, I actually added in a washer and a dryer, you know, for your Sims to use. So now this room is actually functional. Um, and then here we have the private practice. So this is a doctor's uh, office. Um, there is a little changing room there in the corner. There's this board that you can check your eyesight with, uh, an x-ray, a exam table, and then a little corner office, you know, where they have all their documents and such, and they can wash their hands. Um, and what I really like about this doctor's office is there is a, actually a waiting room right here. And the patients need to enter through this door right here. So when we go back up, like so, you can walk over this way. So as a patient, you're not gonna go through the front door. You're actually gonna go through here, here through the side, and you're gonna enter through here into the waiting room. And that is what I love about this house. You know, just the entire floor plan is really nice. We have a master wing right here. There's a kids, girls, a toddler, a teen boy, uh, you know, a very large living kitchen and dining area. And then we have a teen boy with an ensuite here as well. And there's even a little basketball court. Um, so this is a very nice looking house. So yeah, this is the third neighborhood that I showed you guys. And let's jump right into the fourth one right now. Okay, guys, we are now in the third and final neighborhood uh, of the residential lots. So this is the neighborhood that you guys have seen the most 
lately <laughs> I've worked on this the longest uh, what I actually really like about this neighborhood is we again have a apartment complex but this one I actually created for students so this is a cheap student apartment I have the Caliente sisters and the roomies all living in this apartment complex so it's gonna be a lot of fun playing with them in there um, let me pause my game and then here we have you know that tiny simple design house that I created uh, as the final lot here we have the uh, old folks retirement home I think it looks really nice in the neighborhood and then here we have a house also for more of a elderly couple uh, with a children's bedroom for when uh, the grandchildren would maybe be sleeping over. And then when you go to the end of the street, there's actually something really fun and that is a motel. So I added in a motel. I did tweak uh, the sign here a little bit because there was a different sign when I created this, but the sign kept falling off. So I added in a different sign. So I did set this lot as a bar because there is a fully functioning bar on the second floor, but I am using it as a motel for my 100 baby challenge. <laughs> I just find it really fun to use, you know, one of the bedrooms and woohoo in there and then afterwards, you know, grab a drink and then dump the guy and never see him again. So that is what we use this motel for. And I think, I, I don't know, I just really like how this looks. So uh, we have the office down here, as you guys can see, there is where you can do, uh, you know, maybe checking in and such. Uh, and then here we have a large parking lot with, you know, different type of cars in it. I really wished we had a car spec. <laughs> um, that would look so much better. And then we have all of the motel entrances. So there are, I think, one, two, three, four, eight uh, bedrooms and it, it even has its own little laundry mat and kitchenette section for you know the people who are staying here because there are no kitchen in the motel bedrooms but there is a kitchen here so they can cook something here if they wanted to and they can also do they want their laundry here so this wasn't a functional laundry mat but now it is. <laughs> I added in washers and dryers for everyone to use. So, oops, I am in the wall. So that was a really nice touch. Um, so that, this is definitely my favorite lot. Either this one or, you know, the student apartment is my favorite lot to use. And then here we have the old folks home. I am going to go in here as well. Just a tiny bit. Whoops, Mona. Yeah, so... Here we have the entryway of the old folks home. You know, this is where you can sign in if you are visiting. Here we have the doctor's office or the nursing office right there. There is the grand kitchen. And then walking through here, we have the common room with the dining area. Very cute looking. And then also, you know, the common room with the sofas where you can even have your grandchildren come over and you can just sit here and relax with them. Or maybe all of the old people like to come together here and watch, you know, a movie or, you know, something like that. Um, and then there is also a laundry room here. It's, it's, it's like I'm obsessed with laundry, you guys, but I'm actually not. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's also a laundry mat here in this old folks home as well. So let me show you guys this floor plan because I have this lot loaded up. So we have two apartments left and right. And then here an apartment left and right as well. And then the ground floor. So yeah, that is the entire residential lot showed to you guys. So we have now done four neighborhoods. Let's us jump right into the final neighborhood and that is the um, commercial lots or, you know, the, the community lots. So yeah, let's jump right into that next. Okay, guys, we are now in the final neighborhood and this is the community lot neighborhood. So from left to right at the left side... Um, Okay, there is a skating ring in the parking lot. I did not add that in, by the way. That just spawned right there. But here on the left side, 
let's start here first um this is actually the last community lot that i furnished and this is a bar not a bar mona it's not a bar it's a restaurant at the daytime and then it's a dance club or a you know a club at night <laughs> i just found that little touch so much fun so this little area we use at night time and then this area the restaurant area we use at daytime so this is a multi-functional lot so if you want to enter the restaurant you enter it through the front door right here but if you want to enter the club you actually need to go around the back and then here we have a little club entryway and now with with get famous coming out you can even add in a bouncer which is gonna be so much fun for storytelling so you can have a bouncer here with a little cord um and he he's gonna check you know if you're famous enough to get in so <laughs> i think that's gonna be a lot of fun with this lot so yeah this is the uh how do you call it the restaurant uh and the restaurant and oh my gosh mona um dance club <laughs> so yeah that is this right here then next to the restaurant and dance club we have a gym i created this gym with the fitness pack stuff uh that came out you know the day when i created this so this is all inspired with that pack it's a really nice uh spacious gym in my opinion there is a rock climbing wall everything that your sim needs to work out um and then this lot right here i actually find this one uh very fun i created this with the bowling stuff pack in mind again to showcase that pack um, and this is actually a karaoke bar with a bowling alley and a teen hangout so on the third floor right here we have the karaoke bar um, the karaoke bar has a large uh, kind of seating patio on the rooftop so this is the karaoke bar um, there's a bubble blower section right there but going down we have our own little bowling alley there's a bowling alley with some seating you know arrangements right there there are three lanes which I think looks really nice. But then when you go down one again, <laughs> there is more. So this has three floors with three, you know, multifunctional floors. So you can go through the door and then through another door. And then here where all the bathrooms are, you have the teen hang out <laughs> and i find it so much fun so there are bubble blowers there's graffiti you know foosball tables um i don't know game game thingies how do you call those flipper costa <laughs> i don't know but they're there and then here we even have a little play area for the smallest ones you know the tiny toddlers who came with their parents but the parents are bowling and the toddlers cannot really bowl so they dumped children here <laughs> so this is just i really really like uh this uh center it's like a community center or a multi-functional you know center not just bowling not just uh karaoke but also a teen hangout and a play area for the little ones so yeah, it's multifunctional and fun and then the final community lot and this is actually the first one that i created was this coffee shop so this is a cafe a gorgeous cute looking cafe lots of seating areas uh, at the front and here at the side you can even play chess while drinking coffee i mean how amazing is that um so yeah that is basically it you guys this is the final uh world that i created or the world yeah final neighborhood uh the residential not the residential the community lot neighborhood so we have four community lots in this neighborhood and there's also a bar in the other neighborhood that makes a total of five 
community lots, uh, but we still need to visit one more lot. So one final lot, because I actually did create a park as well. So there is a park um, and I think the park is, I, I think my favorite lot. Uh, the park has a, uh, a church, a little, you know, park area where you can sit. I think there's even a pond, although I don't know that for sure. But let's hop, hop on over to the park and I'm gonna show you guys everything there okay guys we are now at the actual final lot so the the last one wasn't the final one this is the final lot that i'm gonna showcase to you guys and that is the park so i think this is my favorite you know park or a lot of this entire world because of the landscaping the landscaping is amazing and i love that there is a church so you can actually can get married here i did test it out it's all functional um there is a fishing hole right here which you see my husband he is using it <laughs> he's loving the fishing hole um i also made this park cat and dog friendly so uh, that is the lot traits that i added in uh, not a cat hangout but uh i like cat cat friendly and dog friendly um so here you can play some chests there are swings um there are barbecues children play areas i mean look at my cats there they're having so much fun watching me have fun on the swing <laughs> i mean look at little kitty watching me um so yeah i love this little park and there you know here is the feeding bowl so that your your cats and dogs won't go hungry um, and then when you go through here, you know, there's lots of greenery and then here we have the entryway to um how do you call this the church oh my gosh mona <laughs> to the church so the church you can enter through here i am going to show you guys just a little bit of the entrance of the church i mean why not uh, i've showed you guys a lot of houses now so this is the entryway we have some holy water this is holy water <laughs> on the entryway so you can wash your hands, you know, wash off all your sins before entering God's home. <laughs> and then here we have the wedding venue. So there's a wedding arts, lots of seating areas for your sims. Uh, when you go up, we're just going to fly up, you know, lots of more seating areas. There's even a bed if your sims get tired. Um, and then going through here, we have a bar, a little kitchen area, you know, to bake that wedding cake. Although I think it's better to take your cake with you than bake it here. Um, and then here we have a reception area for your Sims. So after the wedding, they can all come here, eat some cake, have a party. You know, there's a jukebox and there's also piano. So there is music. They can dance and have fun. And then going back out here, you know, a little bit of a seating area again so yeah that is the entire park with the church uh love i mean look at that look at that i love that you can look into you know the wedding venue area where you get get married all that natural light flowing in it's amazing oh and that's right we also have a cemetery here on the side i just found it you know to be a nice touch usually there are cemeteries where there are churches not always not always but the church that we have here the cemetery is actually located a street further but then the church in our um how is it our larger city there is a cemetery attached to that so it all depends on what church you know and what religion of course that as well um but yeah that is the entire lot and then this is all maxis you know i did not i did not create this this is not <laughs> this is not me you cannot build there um but yeah i'm hoping that you guys enjoyed this little tour of the entire oasis springs world that i created leave your comments and suggestions feedback for the next up and coming new oasis springs world that i'm gonna create with the terrain 
going to down below. Also, some people asked, are you gonna do different worlds? I'm actually already working on Willow Creek. I'm working on Brindleton Bay, um, Granite Falls and... Send my Shuno. <laughs> yes, I'm also redoing Send my Shuno, Shuno, but that one was with custom content. And I think that one's like almost finished as well. So I'm also redoing all those worlds, uh, but this one especially I'm gonna reboot again because we're finished. Um, so yeah, let me know if you liked the video. I mean, you can leave your likes if you want to. It's very help helpful for the channel. It helps it grow uh, and it makes me know that you liked this type of content. And of course, if this is the first video that you're seeing from me and you're still here, I mean, how long have I been showcasing? <laughs> like an hour or so? And you're still here and you are enjoying everything that you're seeing, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you would never Never, ever miss a video of mine so guys that's it I'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day wherever you are and hopefully I will see you all in the next one bye bye <laughs>